So now we added our static files settings for Django to serve them. Now we're pretty much ready to deploy our application. You should make sure though that you did make and run all your migrations. So make migrations and of course then run migrate. That should be the case here since we continuously did, did that throughout the course, but you should definitely ensure that this is the case by now. Also, if you wanna use the admin panel, create your super user with the create super user command. We also did this long ago in an earlier course section, but you need to make sure that this is all set up so that your SQLite free file is containing the basic database schema and the super user. In our case, this SQLite free file even already includes a couple of blog posts, and that's of course fine as well. But you should at least make sure that your database is initialized with the base schema and the super user. And now we're ready to finally prepare this application for deployment and then to deploy it.